Hello and welcome to second tutorial of our introduction to Java. In this tutorial we will uh, write our first Hello World program, but we will do it in simple notepad, not in graphical integrated development environment which we will use in next lessons. Uh, in next lessons we will start to use Eclipse uh, which is uh, much more powerful than a simple text editor but now I want uh, you to learn how to write and compile program by hand because you, you, you need this to not get stuck if something go uh, will go wrong with Eclipse and uh, you cannot uh, uh, be stuck, you know you have to know how things work actually so, let's start notepad++ plus plus. Uh, and uh, I have prepared this uh, short program for you, but first, if you don't have Notepad++, just open your browser and type Notepad++, and you can go directly to Notepad++ Home and download it for free. It's a very nice replacement for Windows Notepad, you know. It has many much more features and uh, syntax highlighting for many languages including java so the first thing we should do okay let's start from scratch is to save our file uh, as uh, hello java let's name it hello java and uh, everything is ja in java is inside a class so we need to define a, a public class uh, with the name the same name as the name of the file so if we name the file hello we need to define public class hello enter and in the next line we type two curly braces enter enter and tab so we have a uh, four space indentation and uh, for clear clarity of this program it is very good in this line you start to type uh, your first method so public static void main string tab string uh, array arcs we will not talk about this now, but we will talk about it, uh, those uh, keywords later during a discussion of objective programming, because no, you are not ready for this. Now just type what you see, two curl braces, enter, enter, tap, and we will type our first command, system. out print line and hello world semicolon so what we have here uh, everything is inside the public class hello and those I recommend uh, putting curly braces in this position here and here some people uh, put it in this way so open curly brace after hello and second here here but I think the most clear convention is like that to put curly braces in the same column as the first word of this keyword so here and here and the next instruction is intended by four spaces so we type type here the our main method which is uh, started every time the program the class is run, run 
and uh, here we have also two curly braces on the same column in the same column as public class so everything inside two curly braces is the block of instructions actually here we have only one instruction but there could be much more you know but for demonstration purpose we have only one instruction and this instruction tells us that we have to we want to print a line of text at the system console so system out print line uh, hello world and semicolon semicolon is required after all instructions so we have to put it here okay now we can compile this file so open the command prompt cmd go to the directory directory well where we save the file so cd backslash we go to the root, root directory cd java and dir, dir now we have our hello java program now we can compile it typing java hello java okay dear and now a part of hello java we have also hello class file and this is compile java program you can run it on every system where the java virtual machine is running so you can take this hello class file and run it on linux windows mac everywhere and on each system where the java runtime environment is installed so now we will run it to run it we have to type java hello without the extension class so just java hello and bang we see hello world so the program is doing what we expected just printing the line of text this is of course a very simple demonstration and in the next lessons we will write more advanced programs and uh, do it uh, will we do it in the graphical environment but just for now you see how it works java is the compiler and java is the runtime environment which you use to run class files and it's okay indeed it is enough for for this lesson so thank you very much uh, don't forget to subscribe if you like my tutorials and see you at the next tutorial bye